Hello everyone. Happy Saturday. Uh, this is Krista and this is Say I Do Forever. Uh, Jay is at the groomers getting uh, Duchess shaved. It started to get hot enough uh, that she is kind of miserable in her fur so that's what he's doing this morning. He was doing some painting uh, early early this morning and then he stopped uh, when the groomers uh, opened up so he could get that done. But this week has been really rainy and as you saw in my last video I never even got to show you uh, the potted plants um, because uh, it rained really really hard um, this last weekend and uh, then it continued to rain throughout the week off and on and it was a very wet week <laughs> which is very strange for June um, here in southern Idaho uh, we are in zone 6b 6B. Um, but it was nice because a lot of the stuff I planted then got rainwater and rainwater is pretty amazing. It uh, really things are booming left and right. Um, but the heat right before the rain actually caused some of the things that were blooming to go out of bloom. And so I'm a couple areas of my garden right now. I'm in that awkward um, kind of like in between blooms and when you kind of want the seed pods to dry um, and I'm gonna take you around and show you that um, but this week as I was kind of going through um, my garden here and there and uh, thinking about cutting back some of the blooms uh, or cutting off some of the seed pods it really got me thinking and I wanted to walk through the garden with you and uh, talk to you about all these kind of awkward spots um, just like uh, kind of when you're in that junior high age uh, you're you're kind of turning into an adult but you're still a kid and you're in that awkward stage um, there are some parts of my garden that are in that awkward stage right now and that's okay because we're just waiting for uh, some of the seeds uh, so we can cut off those blooms um, but let me take you around and then I wanted to also take you around uh, to the potted plants and show you the good the bad and the ugly so I potted everything up and I had waited about a week and a half because I was so busy getting the plants into the pots so that was one of the problems so some of them dried out and they weren't doing great uh, and then that day that I was planting was so hot in the Sun that I killed a few uh, because <laughs> Uh, they were out in the sun when they should have been in the shade um, and then we got so much water uh, that now they were drowning and so I lost a few because of that so I thought I'd just walk you around and show you um, they're at that beginning awkward stage again too where uh, by midsummer they're gonna be booming and uh, the pots are gonna be uh, just looking really really good um, but right now we're just in that awkward stage all over the <laughs> garden and uh, life has those moments um, I know Jay and I uh, we've been talking we're in an awkward stage awkward season of our life uh, right now just like you know my mother passing away what do we do with that and it's so hard and there's the grieving and um, you know aging parents and and the navigating all of that um, so not only is our garden in an awkward place uh, in some of the areas, um, but our life is in an awkward place, but there's so much beauty and uh, there's so many things I've been learning uh, in this season, just this week in the garden. And I wanna take you around and show you that. Okay, let me take you around. Let me turn the camera around and take you uh, first looking at maybe some of the pots. Let's, let's take a tour of the pots. Okay, at least I've cleaned up my mess. That's the good part <laughs> from last week and got the pots all in. This first pot isn't bad at all, um, which this one I thought would drown probably the most because it's such a big pot um, and it was out here in the full rain. Um, but I think because it's so big, it's been nice. Um, so we have our uh, sweet potato vine I've got my petunias. Um, I also took some of this ground cover that was in my yard and it had multiplied. And I just potted it up in here. Um, and I'm thinking maybe 
I could get it to climb all the way up the spirals on this. Um, and then I have a coleus, which it's at the beginning stages. I'm hoping that it will be just pretty much all fill up inside of this uh, iron, iron work, kind of just spilling out of it. We will see. So it's in the beginning stages. Um, and these first plants aren't too bad. Um, this is our succulents, and they are loving it. I really thought they'd get too much rain, um, but I think these drier baskets have really helped. And here's my pots that need to be potted up, and there's a squirrel that was getting into my pot just now. <laughs> now these have seen better days, and it's time to get them potted. Um, this particular set right here, believe it or not, these were all petunias that reseeded themselves in one of our pots and I just picked them up and put them in uh, the tray so I can grow them up a little bit better. Now I'm going to go, um, those are free petunias, so I'm going to go and put those somewhere, I'm not sure yet. Um, same with this grass here, it's that grass that kind of fountains over and uh, I think I might put it around the pond and the stream and the waterfall. I think that'd be really pretty. It's an annual, but it reseeded in one of my pots. So, and look at my rose blooming. I just have to get a close up. I kind of had it behind me a minute ago, but just got to get a close up of that. And, you know, th this part of the yard isn't looking good. I've got <laughs> stuff, you know, here and there that I'm trying to keep out of the rain, out of the sun, stuff like that. But, wow, my son bought me this for Mother's Day a couple years ago or maybe last year and um, oh I love it <laughs> so let me turn around without making you guys dizzy I want to go back to some of the pots so even though I did pot things up um, they still are at that beginning stage. Okay, do not look at this. <laughs> this is a mum that I had on my mom's grave and I just need to um, cut off the blooms and pot it. I went and picked it up after Memorial Day. Um, and then we have some coleus. I need to pinch those off so that they'll get full. And uh, what you do there is you just find a spot where it's growing multiple branches and you pinch that off and then you can actually even stick this in water or in dirt and get that to grow another plant so but you'll see some of my plants and I think it's just too much water are doing this droopy thing but I'll probably just pinch that off and see uh, that coleus is doing really good <laughs> probably do the same thing pinch it off get it to grow a little fuller stuff like that. Um, I have these <laughs> pots all over the place that are pretty much empty because I'm waiting to see. I planted a bunch of uh, bulbs in there. So I'm waiting to see what pops up before I plant anything else in it. So that is definitely at the awkward stage right there. <laughs> so that plant out there is try just trying to get some water because it was under the cover. Even though everything else got too much water, it got not enough. Okay, so these two plants, I wanted them to be kind of identical replicas. <laughs> and it had the pampas grass here, or papayas, or yeah, I think something like that. It's like uh, Prince Tut or something like that. And then it had the verbena, and then I put some of this grass that will fountain out of the sides. But this one over here I think it was too much rain because it was non-stop wet but look at what it did oh it almost even looks like it has some aphids I don't know I gotta I gotta look at that but that pot just even though it has holes in the bottom drainage it just didn't drain enough in the last week so I don't know I might have to go get another verbena I think Okay, so here's another one of the elephant ears. It was a single single leaf all week. It was 
all by itself, but um, I think I'm going to plant, I need to get some shade tolerant um, ground cover. Maybe I can take some of this um, Creeping Jenny and put it over here, or some of this other plant that I can never remember the name of, but I have it everywhere. I could put that spilling out. And then, same thing here. So we're just in that awkward stage of trying to grow um, elephant ears and I think it's a colodium or something like that that I planted in there just waiting waiting for things to grow <laughs> just a lot of awkward moments <laughs> this is looking pretty good um, but I can't wait until the um, coleus kind of spills up and or goes up and over and uh, this all spills out that's going to look really, really pretty. Let me show you out in the front. Okay, these ones are a little awkward right now. <laughs> um, just, they need to do some growing and spilling out. Um, I think it's, is it verbena? Or, um, I may have the name wrong. And uh, petunias and um, some daisy-like flowers. Um, I was right about the pansies um, they're already starting to look bad just in the one week they were really full and beautiful I don't know if they got too much rain but then we got kind of really hot and then more rain <laughs> and then look at this poor um, petunia it uh, it's dying too so just like that other plant you know you win some you lose some but I either am going to have to figure out how to bring that back to life or replace it. And then same thing here. Um, everything's just small. <laughs> this poor little uh, elephant ear got beat up by our, we had um, hail. <laughs> so that got completely wiped out. And then we have some other elephant ears that will be coming up. It's going to be beautiful someday. We're just in that transition spot and that uh, we have another kind of sweet potato vine that's going to spill out and uh, some more of this stuff that I don't know the name of that I have everywhere because it reseeds so much that I bought it years and years and years ago and I have never had to buy it since because we have so much of it. So I think in the end these are going to look really good right now they're a little iffy but that's okay and I need another pot for right here um, when I have customers my sign actually sits right there um, that kind of directs them which way to go so let's go back through and I also did some trying to trim and pot up and fertilize my ferns because they are they were not looking good they've been inside all winter and um, then we brought them out and I tried to take it really slowly and harden them off but um, they didn't like it immediately and started kind of dying back but I hope I've repotted them okay um, here's some more of our pansies and we're just waiting for them to finish up and I ended up losing this little plant I thought I saved it um, I accidentally left it out on the patio in the Sun even though it hates the Sun um, last week when I was potting everything and then I tried to save it real quick and it did really good all week and then all of a sudden it took a turn for the worse <laughs> and um, I think it's an impatient just like this one did okay though so I'm waiting for those um, pansies to finish up their cycle and then I'll probably put something else in there but that's not looking too bad the tomatoes <laughs> you ever plant way too many tomatoes from seed that's what I got going on I don't need these but I also don't want to lose them I don't know and I've given all I can give away so that's where we're at there but let me go over to 
this part of the garden because um, I wanted to show you some of the blooms. Um, got squirrels waiting for me over here. <laughs> Actually, I might take the long way. Let's uh, go look at some of the spent blooms. Um, we're kind of in that middle ground, like I said. These are the peonies and the rain and everything beat them up pretty good. I was going to go get some stakes to stake them up, but we're at the end of their life cycle, so I'm just letting them finish their cycle all droopy like that. Um, and our irises are all spent, which is always sad to see them go. Um, the peony right here is all gone, and now we're just down to um, just the seed heads. And this is about to bloom, and it's taller than I've ever seen it be. So that's going to be interesting. And look at my delphinium. I'm so happy about my delphinium. Oh my gosh, isn't that gorgeous? So it broke in two places in the rain and the hail that we had. And so I came back and I stuck it with, let me show you this little stand here. Can you see that? I'll show you over there what, what it looks like. Um, and I thought I had totally lost it because it had only bloomed like to here um, and I was so sad but then I put it in the stand and it just continued blooming up the stalk so I'm so excited and um, there's our little squirrel friend hey sweetie and our raspberries are about to just uh, be ready to go I'm so excited we're gonna get raspberries this year even though we moved them if you remember, beginning of the spring season, we decided to take the row in the front and move it all to the back. Oh, hello. Hello. I know, I don't have any. I didn't bring anything out here with me. Sorry. <laughs> um, the Dianthus is doing good. The Shasta daisies. And you're doing really well. I know you just want a peanut, but I didn't bring one out here. I'm sorry, sweetie pie. Sorry. Here, we'll go this way. I don't have, I don't keep it on me. Here's some more peonies. And, uh, of course, more irises. And Jay has me turned off the, the waterfall today because um, he wants to do some repairs on it and he wants it to dry out so I don't have it running today but I think it's looking really good I'm loving Jay put all of this moss um, or whatever it is all through here those that plant back there will have purple bells and uh, behind this Quakey is a uh, grapevine that has gone wild that we need to do something to help stake it up. I don't know. And uh, the mint. And I love that we have this little beach area that Dutchie likes to go in and hang out underneath the waterfall and get wet. And it is off today, but Anyways, we have some more planting we want to do. This uh, little plant was not doing good where we had it, and it loves it here. Um, so I have the tag. I know I can look up what it is. I'll try to put that in, um, not in the description, but I'll just try to put it on the screen. And then it's just kind of a mess over here because the greenhouse is finished, but, um, well, I'm growing stuff in there still, but when it's hot, I pull everything out and we got our hoses and stuff. So, you know, every house has its messes, right? But I wanted to show you this area over here, more dead blooms, <laughs> and I'm waiting for them. So let me switch the camera just a sec. Okay, let's hope <laughs> I got the camera correct. 
Yes, I think so. Um, I, a second ago, I lost audio. Um, and the sun is coming over and about to hit me in the eye. <laughs> Nothing is the perfect time, right? But I wanted to sit here and have uh, coffee with you and uh, just talk to you about some of the things I've been thinking about all week long. Um, you'll hear children playing in the background, a couple doors down. Um, you'll hear cars racing around. It's Saturday and everybody's kind of enjoying their day. And I didn't get out here early enough uh, to get this shot, um, but I'm just enjoying the moment. <laughs> you know, nothing is a perfect moment and that's what I'm learning in life. There is no perfect moment, <laughs> um, but enjoy the now. <laughs> and that's what my coffee cup says. And I was like, wow, enjoy the now. Yeah. Um, are you enjoying the now? The garden teaches us that everything is here for a short season. Um, a little bit ago, I had beautiful uh, video and beautiful um, photos of this area right here and the poppies, all the red poppies. And now they are just these ugly little seed heads. <laughs> and uh, my hubby keeps saying, why don't we cut these back? Well, I kind of want to save the seeds. Um, not that I need any more poppies, but um, my mother-in-law loves uh, these poppies. Jay's mom loves them. And so I was thinking, I want to try to grow some for her. So I'm kind of letting these dry out uh, so that I can actually get the seed heads off of these. So this corner is a little bit ugly right now, but you probably can't see it here. Um, there's beautiful uh, little daisies right here and you can't see it but right behind me uh, some cone flowers are about to bloom um, but as you notice as I walked around a lot of things are kind of past their season and the garden has been teaching me this week to get out here every day and take in what's beautiful for that day because tomorrow it may not be beautiful but that's okay because uh, just right around the corner, there's the next be more beautiful thing. Um, and so life is like that. Uh, you can't wait for it to all be perfect. You can't wait for it um, to all come into season at the right time. Um, you know, how many times are we saying, as soon as I do X, Y, Z, as soon as I get to that level, I'll be happy. As soon as I get uh, this whole garden weeded, then I'm going to be satisfied. As soon as I get everything blooming and healthy, then I'll, <laughs> then I'm going to think this is beautiful or then I can sit back and enjoy. The garden is a process. Life is a process. Marriage <laughs> is definitely a process and there are seasons. Uh, seasons, there's winter <laughs> and there's summer and there's spring and there's fall. Um, and all the seasons can be beautiful in their own right. Um, each season gives you something. Uh, my roses are being so beautiful right now. Um, but here in the winter, they don't look so good. They are just a, a dead old vine, you know, looking. Um, same with this does not look good. But I'm going to, as soon as these dry, I'm going to cut these back. And the next set of blooms uh, from my cone flowers or um, from my Shasta daisies or my lavender, it will start blooming. Uh, so today, I think my job is I've got to go cut out all the old, but in the process of all the to-dos in a garden, don't miss, enjoy the moment, the now. What is the most beautiful thing that's happening in your garden right now? What is the most beautiful thing that's happening in your marriage right now? Um, yeah, there's going to be some weeds. Yeah, there's going to be some out of season blooms that are looking hideous. Uh, there's going to be some things that maybe died off and but you need to replace it with something new, um, a new experience, um, new joy in the morning. Uh, that's why, you know, God's word says uh, his his uh there's joy in the morning <laughs> and his mercies are new every morning there's just kind of a new newness each day um, there's a cycle of life 
And that's, I think, as I was going through and everything was so rainy, everything loved the rain. Some stuff loved the rain, some stuff got beat up by the rain. Um, and same with the heat. Some stuff takes off with the heat and other stuff doesn't really like the heat. Um, so just if you're raising children right now, um, hang on to that season of your life um, because it's short. Uh, you know, we are always going, oh, I can't wait till they're 18 and they can do things on their own, or I can't wait till they're walking, I can't wait till um, they can feed themselves, get their own drink, I can't wait till they go off to school, I can't, it's just a blink of an eye. <laughs> so enjoy the now, enjoy each moment. Um, and if you are gardening, go out every day and look past the weeds and look past the, the spent bulbs and look for the beauty that's popping up daily in your yard. And uh, same within your marriage, same within your life, your career, whatever, you can insert whatever. Uh, it's always gonna have cycles, always gonna have uh, seasons. So I just wanted to share that with you today. Uh, as Jay is out <laughs> getting Dutchie groomed, we'll have to do that in another video, show her nice little short summer haircut. Um, and as he finishes painting um, and all of these things. But um, today I think was all about it, the moment not being perfect, the loud kids next door, the loud cars, <laughs> the squirrels stealing my peanuts. <laughs> Keep coming and begging me right over here <laughs> for peanuts and uh, the not so pretty yard, but that's okay because it's all, there's beautiful, there's beauty in it. So. I hope that inspires you to go find beauty in um, in your life today. <laughs> Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Love you so much. Uh, we will see you in the next video.